Grandeza. En el deporte es un término que solo se puede medir con el tiempo. Un jugador se convierte en leyenda y un equipo se convierte en dinastía únicamente tras años de actuaciones de alto nivel. Pero en la NBA, la misión de todo jugador en todo momento es más sencilla. Tiene lugar en el aquí y el ahora. Encestar o dar la vuelta a la tortilla. A veces hacen falta cinco hombres para acometer una jugada. Otras, un solo hombre tiene que sobresalir por sí mismo. Puede ser cuestión de mero talento o de puro deseo. Y puede suceder en el séptimo partido de la final de la NBA. O en los primeros segundos de un partido de principio de temporada. En este sentido, la grandeza puede presentarse en un instante. Una única jugada puede ser la imagen definidora de lo alto que puede llegar un jugador. Y las mejores jugadas pueden convertirse en la inspiración de la siguiente generación. Las 100 mejores jugadas de la NBA. Los elementos de la grandeza, como la habilidad, la sincronización o la importancia de la situación, se coordinan de diferentes modos para hacer que todo gran momento sea único. Bloqueos, despejes, trabajo en equipo, canastas en el último segundo, pueden todos convertirse en jugadas históricas basándose en las diferentes destrezas que requieren. Las 100 mejores jugadas pueden seleccionarse de 100 formas. Una sería 10 jugadas en 10 categorías diferentes, y eso es lo que viene a continuación. En los años en los que se formó la NBA, casi toda la acción tenía lugar bajo el aro. Solo algún hombre corpulento, como George Mikan de los Lakers de Minneapolis, se atrevían a elevarse para hacer un mate. Como un bebé dando sus primeros pasos, las primeras estrellas de la liga estaban aprendiendo a navegar en una nueva dimensión. El Jim Baylor, que debutó en 1958, se convirtió en el primero en dominar los cielos. Nobody changed basketball more than Elgin Baylor. Baylor would, would just blow your socks off. You never seen anything like that before. That, that he was an, a forerunner of everything that came thereafter. En los años 70, el doctor J. Julius Irving se estableció sobre las bases de Baylor. Amazing. Convirtiendo el mat slam en una forma de arte. I think to be a, a great a, a superstar who is creative and, and to be a change agent in, in your sport, you really can't put any limitations on what you might do. El doctor dio paso a una generación de artistas que incluía a Dominique Wilkins. El momento humano culminante. Great thing about Dominique was every game, during the game at some point I would say, man, he can't top that one. Wilkins on the loose, that's freaky. And then the next game I'll be saying, man, he can't top that one. He topped his moves every game. El mate pronto evolucionaría de nuevo en las manos de Michael Jordan. He just makes you wish that for one day and for one eight, ten seconds that you could fly in the air. I don't believe what I just saw. I saw man fly. Una vez que la NBA se hizo aérea, no hubo marcha atrás. Y aunque sus raíces siguen en el suelo, el juego florecerá en algún lugar de la estratosfera. I just shake my head and I say, God, this is not the game we played 30 years ago. It's been said often enough that, you know, the game today is being played above the rim. He was with the birds, flying and soaring to the rack. Takes him out as a subject. Here we got a dribble drive, change of direction by Brian. Slam dunk. 
I think that's what the fans came to see. And you talk about elevation. Chick, he went up to the rafters before he decided to put somebody on a poster. I see eight rebound already. Barkley. Nobody cut him off. Barkley went all the way for the slam. They call that coast to coast. And picked up by Drexler. Here he comes. Fakes it all the way. And Jackson at home. Coast to coast. By Drexler. Wide the glide. And look the gas below. Mercy nurse. Goes to the foot race. And here he comes. Doctor looks for daylight. With meaning, he took that to the hoop. Julius Irving on his approach pass to the takeoff. About 12 feet from the basket. Look at him right up and over. Gross. We're down. There are 50 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Starks, yes! What a move by Starks, who was able to sky to the basket. Starks goes, oh, so big. What a spectacular move. They swarm him in that double. They do on the baseline. Now Kemp going to the hoop. Seconds remaining in the game. 13 on the shot clock. Down low for Dominique. Baseline drive. Dominique. Oh, my goodness. Did you see that jam? I don't know how he did that. Dominique. Oh, my goodness. That was one of the most fantastic dunks of all time. Malone passes. Deflect is going to be stolen, I think, by the doctor. Yes, he's got it. Here he comes. Way back to make it a space and slam dunk. The doctor made a sensational play. The slam, he just puffed in his hand and swung that baby way around. Jordan trying to shoot oh, off oh. Oh, Michael Jordan at his best. There's very few people on this planet that can do this. He's just simply amazing. El Aliup combina elementos de pase junto a la canasta, sincronización y mate. Y los funde en un espectáculo que quita el aliento. Something about an alley oop that, that gets everybody going. That means that you're having one guy being very unselfish, throwing it to a teammate, and a teammate finishing the play, so that's teamwork. A back door. Oh my heart away. I like catching lobs, but um, you know, I still have to go back to throwing them because it's always just satisfying and enjoyable to see the ball go in the air and see a guy go up and catch it and then and finish it. Basketball is a game of reaction, especially when I get a nice pass and I go up and slam it. Makes everybody feel good. Oh, baby! Save the women and children on that one! It gets the crowd into the game. It gets my teammates into the game, too. 37 to play in the third. Long pass. Durante los años 90, las estrellas de la NBA convirtieron el aliup en la máxima arma de ataque súbito del juego. Y los jugadores se emocionan tanto con ello como el público. The butt nine to nothing here. Oh, 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 oh. Holy Toledo. Here comes Mr. Jordan, who's right. Loose ball. Elliott and Johnson, two on one. Elliott Robinson hammers it down. David Robinson at his best on both ends of the floor. Van Exel weaving by trouble. Oh, Sure that 
get on the boards and they're not getting anything to the Spurs whatsoever. Oh, 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 man, what a finish by Tim Duncan. A fabulous alley of one hand and dunk. He went up and ripped it. Avery up the floor, trying to angle middle, knocked down by Payton. Gary rips it away, goes the other way into the lane. Up top, Kemp is there. Oh, he cocks it up. Got squared up, got a good look. Here's Manning. Oh, they dice. That will be on all the highlights. How about the blind pass from D Manning? How did he even see the basket? No. Wilkins misses. Lamb in double digits with 10 rebounds. Oh, no. That's the glass. He got it. Oh, my goodness. That may have been the best play I've ever oh, seen him. Wow. That's the best play he's ever seen himself make. 81 87, 9.30 to go. Walton on the lob. Oh, he's got it in. Bill Walton got it in. Once it controls. What a sequence for the Blazers. Walton again. Twice in the basket. I can't believe that first play. I can't believe he stayed with it. Desde que comenzó la NBA, la tarea de hacer el pase clave que lleva a la canasta siempre se consideró la tarea de hombres bajos. En los años 90, el diminuto John Stockton de Utah se convirtió en el mejor pasador de la liga. Y aunque el juego de hoy se decanta por jugadores más corpulentos, el éxito del juego de Stockton es un retorno al primer base famoso de la NBA, Bot Cousy, el Houdini de la cancha. What's the old cliche about necessity is the mother of invention? I mean, the first time I threw it behind my back, the defensive player was a half a man to my right. I, I would have knocked him over, so I slapped it behind my back. And everybody said, God, you must have been practicing that for you. I had never done it before, honest to God. La forma obedecía a la función, y el estilo que Cusi aportó al juego se convirtió con el tiempo en la base para los mejores pasadores de la NBA. That was of Bob Entonces, en 1979, dos hombres grandes entraron en la liga y elevaron el pase a un plano todavía más alto. All of a sudden, two players showed up that changed the face of this game. Uh, Magic Johnson and Larry Bird, two of the greatest playmakers two of the most unselfish players in the history of the game. Bird on the drive. Look at that, Look at that pass. Oh, oh what, a what a show. And he gets straight down the middle. Still going, still going. Oh, highlights Phil. When Larry Bird got there, I think you all of a sudden knew to keep your hands up and keep your hands ready because you knew when Larry had the ball, things were going to happen. Bird with the pass to the legs of Sigma. Magic was the only guy that I've ever seen really throw a no-look pass. You know, look at a guy, time him, look you off, and then hit that guy on the dime without ever looking at him. They made it a habit uh, to be unselfish, and they taught a lot of other players uh, what it is to sacrifice and to be unselfish by being passers and thinking team first and team last. And uh, they'll go down in history as that. Cousy has dazzled countless fans with his thrilling brand of basketball. Made the hoop from 18. Now here's Magic down the middle. Magic. Oh, no, the pass to Rambles, who scores. Foul. What a pass by Magic Johnson. It's 73 72 Chicago. One minute left in the game. Michael up top, 20 footer. No good. Rebound, Stockton. Stockton, rebound. Stockton goes below. Pass of the year. 
tipped around. Jackson with the ball. Oh, Ewing. Oh, Jim. Incredible. Ball tapped loose from Elo, and here comes Jordan. Behind the back. What a play. What a play. Rebound. Barkley as Ewing hits the floor. Left. Sally. Well, what a play! What a play! Finds Bird. Won't go. Bird the rebound. Over his head to McHale. That is just unbelievable. All right, it comes off. Jones wanted it, but Magic wants it more. Dribble behind the back. Oh, what a play! Slam dunk! Maybe the play of the year. And it had to be culminated by that fantastic. Big slam dunk by Scott. Para los hombres de acero de la NBA, el músculo más importante ha sido siempre el cerebro. Y el arma más devastadora es la voluntad. I had to guard the Oscars and the Jerry Wessons. They were so good that they scared other other players who tried to guard them. Now, my approach is. They're great at what they do. I had to be great at what I do. So my ego had to match theirs. They say I was like a leopard or panther on the defense, smothering my guy. If I steal one ball, I think I'm going to steal more. Frazier again did it. Isn't that something? Aunque los tiempos cambian, la mentalidad de los grandes defensas de la NBA nunca se ha modificado de una generación a otra. Getting out there, guarding somebody, and making them fear me, I think that's the best part of the game. Una intercepción puede no solo parar el ataque antes de que empiece, sino que puede ser el arma de doble filo más devastadora del baloncesto. Pass stolen by Frazier, he drives. And the ball is good, I stole the ball, the crowd wouldn't shut up. I can see in guys' faces the anguish. It becomes frustration, you know, devastation. There was no fire, no desire in their eyes. They lost it. Zips it back outside. The ball loose. McDaniel had it stolen by Jordan. Michael's got to break away. This game is over. Suffocating defense. Transition basket. The whole package is right here. We're in overtime, tied at 91, and one minute remaining. Generals against Jordan, knocked away, stolen by Michael. MJ on the rock. Michael dunks the ball and a foul. Oh, my. Michael Jordan with a critical defensive play. Minute 45 to go. The Bulls lead by four. Jordan, Jordan fake right, go left, spin right, go. Stockton steals it. Stockton steals it. Stockton drive, hang, block, and a foul by Jordan. What a play by John Stockton. The Boston Celtics trying to go on to the finals. The Sixers trying to stay alive. They trail by two, 33 seconds to go. They must stop the Celtics on this possession. Malone to Irving. The Celtics need their best defensive effort of the season right here. This is, this is a tough time. Chicago with the lead with 18 and 1 10 seconds to play. The Lakers lead the Celtics 113 to 111. Well, they're going to try and make a steal here, and they got their best defensive team in there right now. And the Lakers, keep in mind, do not have to take a shot. And it goes quickly in now to Magic. 
Back over to Worthy, and it's picked off. Goes to Henderson, he lays it off and in. It's all tied up. A great play by Henderson. For a minute there, I could hear Johnny Moose going, Henderson steal the ball. <laughs> Five seconds left. Boston only has a one-point lead. Greer's putting the ball on a play. He gets it out deep, and Havlicek steals it. Over the stand goes. Havlicek stole the ball. It's all over. It's all over. Gary Havlicek is being mobbed by the fans. Havlicek has scored. 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 Havlicek Boston down one. Bird got him by Mahorn. Drives around him. And the ball gets knocked out of bounds by A. Oh, they call it the other way. It's a quick ball with five seconds to go. Thomas wants to get it in quickly. And now there's a steal by Bird. Underneath the DJ. Right there. Right up one second left. What a play by Bird. Bird stole the inbounding pass. Laid it up to DJ. DJ A blocked shot. Is it luck? Is it good timing? Is it anticipation? Bill Russell, the man who not only popularized it, but had it down to an exact science. When I go up to block the shot, I'm going to try to sweep it that way. Sweep it. You don't slap it. No, no. Now, see, now, if I sweep it there, now I got an angle to go after it. En su carrera de 13 años, Bill Russell convirtió el tapón en la piedra angular de la defensa de la NBA. He would shut down the basket, completely shut it down. Uh, every shot went up, he, he took it away. What a block by Russell! What a block by Bill Russell! Incredible! One game I remember, and I went around my man Golden for layup, and he blocked a couple of shots on me. And then the next time I got around him, I missed a layup looking for him. We shut a guy down, or block a guy's shot, and say, yes, we did that to you. If you come back, we'll do it again. If you come back again, we'll still we'll do it another time. So you have to try something else to do. That won't work. Mientras que Bill Russell dominaba la psicología de intimidación, su gran rival, Wilt Chamberlain, controlaba la canasta con una presencia física colosal. First time I saw him, I was in awe. I had never seen a man this size um, not only his height over seven feet tall, but the shoulders and the strength. Wilt was a Paul Bunyan figure, a mythic in what he could personally do. Wilton Chamberlain fijó el listón para los hombres grandes de la NBA. Y aunque los jugadores hayan cambiado, la mentalidad sigue siendo la misma. One of the key things uh, playing defense is to work on the offensive players' confidence. And sometimes you can do that emotionally or intellectually, and sometimes you have to do it physically. As he goes right to Akeem, good heads up play. And a steal by Strickland, a lazy pass. Elijah Watt blocks it away. Wow. Well, Akeem give, and Akeem taketh away. We go the other way, three on two. One of them's morning underneath. Oh! And at morning blocks his sixth shot. A tremendous block. <laughs> the guy can't get any higher than that. Blocked by Chamberlain. A great block by Chamberlain. Beautiful block, Chamberlain. Two great plays by Will Chamberlain. Harper out with it. The Cats have four on one. Barkley being the one. How about that? And that. Barkley made the block. Barkley made the block. Oh, brother. And this time, Hazard comes down with it. Fast break. West. West all alone. Look at Russell come down. And what a play. What hustle by Russell. And his feet set that time. Oh, oh Robinson blocking. Johnson and again against Wingate. Oh, my, the Admiral. This is a big...
Big possession by the Knicks. High game at 89, and Ewing wants the ball and gets it. Spectacular block. Alfonso Ellis took it right away from him. Evan Johnson will inbound. Oliver Miller plays it. Here's Johnson. Johnson gets no, he could not get it off. Knocked away by Grant. It's all over. The Chicago Bulls have won three straight NBA championships. Iris Grant comes up with the block to conclude matters. Chris Porciani is into the game for Orlando. Here's a block. Two to another one. Another one. Four to another one. Boy, they got the crowd into it now. I don't think I've ever seen a sequence where they've been four in a row by the same guy like that. The new playing incredible defensive basketball. There might be times when we get down, but. Like we've done all year. Instead of pulling apart, we pull together. Win or lose, we're taking something in that locker room and believing each other in this huddle. You gotta believe that, guys. You fought too hard. Every one of you, grab each other and trust each other. Let's go, guys. Let's go. Help each other. Help each other. No one guy's gonna do it. Let's do it together. Let's do it together. La grandeza de cualquier partido de la NBA se magnifica por el número de jugadores que contribuyeron a su éxito. Y el trabajo en equipo ha sido siempre la pieza angular del mejor baloncesto. I grew up in a small town where, you know, you play as a team, you win as a team, you lose as a team. So I liked it when, when everybody was involved. You know, whether I scored 10 points or 20 points or 50 points, I liked it when the ball was moving. When the ball is moving so that the defense is just spinning around wondering where the heck is this ball? When you play like that with that kind of team chemistry, there is absolutely nothing that the defense can do about it. Un brillante trabajo en equipo no solo recibe la ovación del público, sino que también eleva el juego a su nivel más alto. That's when things kind of get spiritual almost because uh, people start getting into someone else's head and because they're always thinking about them and caring about them and trying to perform for them and then the power of everyone is in one person. Ya sea durante una década, una temporada o en un único momento, es una gozada contemplarlo. You're watching beautiful basketball. The ball is moving, five guys playing. Oh, man. Oof. I, I mean, just awesome. To see people believe in, in the same goal and come together and rely on each other to be a part of that is just a wonderful, uh, wonderful feeling. Cedric Sabalas with the rebound. Here comes out over Miller. Keenan, oh, what a pass to Johnson to Barkley. Can't do it any better than that. Now watch the nice teamwork by the Celtics. Into Russell. Point lead for Seattle. Kemp posting up. And Shrimp. Nice movement. They get it over to Kemp. Shrimp to Askew to Kemp. And beautiful basketball by the Sonics. It's the Lakers ball. Watch this fabulous fast break. Two points for Los Angeles. And the terrific ball movement on the part of the Knicks continues. Outside Bradley, one hand up from 20 yes. Portland with the ball and a three-point lead, and here's a three-point attempt by Porter. Long rebound. Thomas to Sally. Can he save it? Yes. Yeah. Showtime by the Bulls. 
There's very few of them. You knew that when the big game was there, you knew that they were going to be the best player. I'm not shooting until the final second. If I make it, we win. If I miss it, we're going in overtime. I ain't giving them a chance to shoot it again. I felt that uh, at the end of the game, that there was, no, there was no doubt in my mind I was going to make it. It's almost like an arrogance that you don't think you can fail. And particularly when the game's on the line, it, it seems like it's easier. My teammates knew if it came down to the final seconds that I was going to shoot the shot. It's like Robert Parrish always said, you know, there's 40,000 eyes on Larry Bird because they knew he was going to get the ball. And uh, we knew it, our opponents knew it, now it's just up to them to stop it. You, know, you might uh, make your first 10 shots and everything is going great, but when game when the game is on the line, uh, those other 10 don't mean anything. Robinson on Barkley. It's his game to win. You're not always going to be successful, uh, but you know you, if you're scared to fail, you don't deserve to be successful. Stay back. Off it comes to Chapman. Almost overthrown. Chapman, long shot up. Oh, it is! 1.9 left of regulation. Chapman hit it. What a remarkable play by Rex Chapman. It's left in Milwaukee up one. 116, 115. Pressy looks to bring it in. He comes in and throws it away. The bird again. Up fakes. Fires another three pointer. Oh! Ties it up with five seconds left to play. Off balance. <laughs> falling out of bounds. Is he worth the price of admission or what? He is too much. Absolutely too much. 2.9 seconds. Harper's on Miller. McKee gets it in the middle for the win. The Celtics now faces a situation where they have five seconds to try to win this game. Here come the Celtics. Havlicek touches it. It begins. Three seconds. Hondo off the glass. He's got it with a second. Got it good. They say there's one second left. The Suns by two. And has come down to this possession. They want Michael to get a full head of steam, try to keep him in the middle of the floor. Well, Pippen got the snap. Pax just waiting oh. for his opportunity. What? Do you a believe shot. this? Do you believe this? 105-99, 18.7 seconds left. Miller for three. And he got it. Reggie. 
Reggie Miller with a clutch tray, and it's 105-102. And a steal. Miller retreats to the three-point line and hits again. Reggie Miller has tied the game with 13 seconds remaining. Reggie Miller made a three, stole the ball, raced behind the three-point line, and hit again. One of the greatest clutch playoff performers of his generation has apparently done it again. 101 to 100. What a basketball game we've had. Oscar Robertson throws to Kareem. Seven seconds. Finkel, the dive. Kareem with a big pressure shot. Milwaukee wins it. Milwaukee wins it in double overtime. 102 to 101. The Laker ball and a shot to win it. Down by one. Five seconds to go. Magic down the middle, just what I thought. A hook shot at 12. Good! Two seconds left. The Lakers take the lead on Magic Johnson's running sky hook. Woo-wee. Screens across. Malone to the post. Malone stripped by Michael. Stolen by MJ. Bulls down one. 17 seconds from game seven or from championship number six. Michael against Russell. 12 seconds. 11. 10. Jordan a drive, hangs, fires, yes! scores! He scores! The Bulls lead 87-86 with five and two tenths left. Oh my goodness! Oh, oh my goodness! Uno de los aspectos básicos de la NBA es que el buen trabajo en equipo permite, sin embargo, la inspiración creativa personal. A lot of what basketball is about for a lot of people is not necessarily who wins and loses, though that's important. It's for those moments, those, those moments when, when the game, when one player does something so amazing, so unexpected. Cada generación se enriquece con los individuos que vinieron antes, fijando el listón cada vez más alto, con el impacto que un solo jugador puede tener en el juego take what it is that you're doing out on the court and make a guy in the 15th row feel what you're doing, that's when you got something special. I certainly was aware that I, my style of playing was attractive to fans in those days because I was a little ahead of my time in terms of the way I played the game. But, oh, the whirling move takes advantage with the wheeling one handle. Good. I still remember. The first time I saw Earl Monroe, somebody had said, you've never seen anything like him. It was like you felt there was a connection. You just watched him, and you put it in your memory bank. Maravich, boy, he's got all kinds of moves. What move doesn't this guy have? Guys like Maravich and Monroe would make it look like miracles every time. Showtime was that beautiful sky hook. Mmm, that's the most beautiful shot that I've ever seen in basketball. You know, you just roll it over their fingertips, you know, and they think they got it, and it just roll over. Irvin slides inside. Oh, my. What a move by Ice. They knew when uh, they came to see Ice, you know, they were going to at least do this one time. Oh, good shot. <laughs> what a life. How does he do that? How does he do that? How does he know? He can go 0 for 25, but you'll stay watching him because that one for 26 may be the greatest move you've ever seen in basketball. So you dare not turn the channel. Out to Bob Cusy, and is he ever on the beam? For nine, the look away to Levingston. Here goes Meredith. 
Oh my goodness! How did he do that? To keep it spread out at the half, Isaiah by Lever and Valentine to four court against pressure. Shot clock at 15. Still has a dribble right side, way down to the floor. Comes in the lane, ten footers on the way. He's awesome, baby. He's awesome. Oh. Tim Hardaway, the killer crossover. Tim Hardaway with a vicious crossover. On the outside, Iceman drives for the hoop. Oh, my goodness. Check that shot out. The <laughs> ultimate finger roll. All right back, the Bulls can go up 14. Jordan past Petrovic. Whoa! <laughs> you can't believe that one, can you? You better. <laughs> it's 89-84. Sixers, and they get inside. Hay un tipo de gran jugada que no requiere la habilidad de tirar, pasar, correr o saltar. El regateo es el terreno de los bendecidos con el talento del deseo. Well, that was just part of my makeup. I was taught that uh, every loose ball could be the outcome of the game, and if you had five or six loose balls on the ground a game, that just uh, that could turn into 12 or 15 points. So I was always taught that every time you had an opportunity to get the ball, you better take that chance. Just get the ball. And that's always been my philosophy. Just get the ball. Barkley dives for it, finally picks it up. Here's his fade away. He got it. He wouldn't give up on it. I did try to play hard because I, I realized that if I didn't, I became an ordinary player. This is my game of passion, and I love it. I'm going to do everything I can to win this game, uh, to win any game. You cannot measure the depth and size of this guy's heart. It comes down to focus. It comes down to intensity, and it comes down to courage. That's just effort. That's all effort. The most important thing is you got to have the heart. You got to have the will. When they talk about mental toughness and physical toughness, this guy's got the entire package. Oscar has Collins on him. 
Three seconds left on the 24 second clock. Cowan's on the floor. What a play by Dave Cowan. Austin would like to cut this to a one point game. Larry Bird. Follows his own shot. Part of the NBA is the moments during a timeout when that game is hanging in the balance. What do you think Phil Jackson is thinking about? Will it automatically be Michael Jordan? I think it'll go to Michael Jordan and then let him create. People are edging to the edges of their seats or standing in anticipation. Out on their feet here at the United Center. Tied at 82. The finals. The first game. It is Michael Jordan time. Two coaches got the ball inbounds from Pippen, and here is Michael. Four on the shot clock now. Keeps it on the dribble. Russell's there. That moment of explosion when, when something punctuates all, all that anticipation with something dramatic. MJ, top of the circle against Russell. Michael hangs and fires. Go! Looking, looking, loops it to Bird, a runner. It's good! It's good! And the Celtics win it! Bird hits and the Celtics win it! 103 to 101, a three pointer by Larry Bird at the buzzer. This is reaction time. You gotta get it, you gotta put it up. If you don't get a shot away, they'll talk about it the rest of your life. Magic fires for three. Got it! Pistons have the ball, five seconds remaining in regulation, down by one. Here's Isaiah, let's see what we got. All the way up, go! That is wow. literally carrying a team on his back. Take them to the promised land. Woo! McCray will inbound, one second on the clock. Samson. shot by Ralph Sampson has given the Houston Rockets a trip to Boston for the NBA world title. DJ again to make the inbounds pass. The double team in Bird. Larry, fake, fall away. Hits it! The buzzer! All right! Unbelievable. Bird gets out as far as he can go. Gives a fake to try and draw the foul. One dribble. The fall away. Hail Mary go in shot and there it is folks Long is up no good rebound day day with five seconds into the front court goes to malone into the corner malone throws up a brick left side good! oh my goodness what a shot unbelievable shot by jeff malone on the left baseline we're tied at 100 game six on the line here russell to stockton stock for three Stock Garrett, unbelievable! John Stockton, John Stockton, it's over. The Jazz put it. We're on our way to the World Championship. The inbounds pass comes into Jordan. Here's Michael at the foul line. A shot on Elo. Good! The Bulls win it! They win it! Set the Cleveland Cavaliers. Michael Jordan hits it at the foul line. One to 100. Seven, six, five, the Busher shoots, hit with three seconds to go. Two seconds, one second. West throws it up. He makes it. West threw it up and makes it. Over half court. The ball game is tied. Jerry West made it from the other side of the mid-court strike. Now the 
final second of play here in the Boston Garden. Boston up by two. Won't start until it's clutch. They'll have to throw it up. Garher, turn around, shot in the air. It's good. It's tied again. I, believe I don't it. believe it. Garfield hurt at the buzzer. We've got a third overtime in the Boston Garden. I got to take a breather. Garfield Hurd made the basket. I want to tell you something. Somebody up there is on our side. by best right down the lane. Isaiah breaks up the lane, falls, but keeps the dribble twice. Now comes back toward the lane, to the hoop, up in, off the glass, and he's fouled. Holy cow. Out of timeout. Wait, what? 